quote by Christopher McDowell inspires me to action every single time. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up, it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up, it knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle or it will starve. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle, when the sun comes up, you'd better be running. And what do most of us do when the sun is up and the alarm starts ringing? Reflexively hit the snooze button, get that 8 minutes of extra shatai. And by the time you're up, you realize that you're going to be late again. So you scramble and curse and dash and pray that traffic is miraculously light and that coffee is just the right temperature to gulp it down quick enough and hot enough to jolt you awake. If this is what your typical morning looks like, then it's time to change your morning routine. And that's what this episode is all about. Five simple rituals for success that you can start using today. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! A healthy morning ritual is important to set the tone for the day. It also helps build focus and eliminate the stress that is caused by this chaotic morning rush. I have been reading up on the world's influential and successful people and I have yet to find one person who has no routine and is successful. Success is created by routines and it starts early in the morning, the golden time that can kickstart your day on a positive note. Robin Sharma has famously spoken about his 20-20-20 formula for success where the first 20 minutes is exercise or stretching routine. Former US President Barack Obama starts every morning with a workout routine which consists of strength and cardio training. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, his morning ritual is a 7-minute workout that he does 3 times through. Exercise improves your blood circulation, boosts your metabolism and improves your cognitive skills. Of course, when you're just starting the routine, you will have to fight the temptation to snuggle back under the covers. Here's a simple trick to wake yourself up. I share this trick with all my clients. That's right. If you snooze, you lose. Keep your alarm really far away so that you have to walk to shut up its cacophony. And yes, use the most dis discordant, loudest ringtone that you can find. Mine is a fire alarm that wakes up the entire house. The journaling technique involves filling up at least three pages with stream of consciousness writing in longhand after your exercise. Writing non-stop for at least 15 minutes is an effective way to tame your mental clutter, sharpen your focus and get some really great creative ideas or aha moments. Entrepreneur Tim Ferriss swears by this morning ritual. I read this somewhere. The more still the mind before you shoot into the activities of the day, the more precise the flight of the arrow and more successful your actions. Meditation is really like pulling the boat tight and focusing before you shoot that arrow. A morning meditation practice improves your focus. It enhances your awareness and it clears your mind. It also reduces stress, allows you to think more calmly and is great to tame your anger and irritation. I can't stress the importance of this practice. To get to your big outrageous goals, you need to feel inspired and alive and unbeatable and deliberate gratitude is one of the smartest ways to build that state. I always say that gratitude is one of the magic wands that sprinkle fairy dust all over your day. There are various ways to practice gratitude. My friend Prashant Jain has written an entire book, Vitamin G, with 52 gratitude practices. Find one that you can stick to or do multiple ones. I personally love gratitude journaling. I have been doing it for over a decade now. Every morning, I write down 10 things that I'm grateful for. I love, love, love this practice. It keeps my focus on all that's going well in my life. 
it completely changes the way I view each experience, each encounter and each person. And it fills me with energy, passion and hope. No matter how busy you are, no matter how much you have on your plate, schedule 30 minutes of reading. Reading something motivational, inspiring. It can be a podcast, an audiobook, a hard copy or on the internet. It doesn't matter as long as you make it non-negotiable. Like Robin Sharma says, education is inoculation against disruption. I love this one. Eat a nutritious balanced breakfast. Remember, you need the physical body to get around. Food is fuel for this engine. You won't drive your vehicle on empty, so why your body? I love this quote by Wayne Dyer. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to stay. So, write in the comment box which of these routines you practice already. And what are some of your morning routines? Share this video with your friends, family, co-workers. Let's cap that DM. And if you haven't subscribed yet, press the bell icon so that you get these videos right in your inbox.